for Class 1 Equipment in Decatur, Georgia today. It's ID 3666. It's an Oxford Plasma Lab 133-ICP380. It has an inductive coupled plasma. Single wafer load lock. But it's a platter that holds multiple wafers on the quartz platter. Um, 380 millimeter electrode in the chamber. Helium backside cooling, helium backside plant. The electrode is cooled at minus down to minus five degrees Celsius. Chamber and load lock walls are heated up to 60 degrees. It has an Alcatel, Alcatel Maglev Turbo, ATH 1300 camera with a 1300 amp controller. Advanced energy RF power supply. A brand new HP computer with brand new software from Oxford. Runs PC 2000 version 1.8 software. New monitor, keyboard, mouse. We have an Edwards E2M40 fully refurbished. This is the load lock box. Edwards IQDP 80. And that is the chamber pump, it's the backing pump for the turbo. The turbo and both pumps were sent to pump remanufacturers, completely taken apart and, and refurbished, tested, sent back to us, and we've run multiple testing on them also. The chiller was sent to a chiller refurbisher. Temperature range is checked. It has been taken apart, rebuilt, like new. The Yalabo FP51 that uses special Yalabo fluid. The four-line plumbing does not come with the system because we never know how far away they will put the pumps from the system. And they could be one level down, they could be in a chase, but we normally we do not furnish these with the system. We have six gas gas pods. And in that we have BCL3, 100 SCCM. CL2 100 SCCM, SF6 100 SCCM, O2, Argon, and Nitrogen, all three 100 SCCM. They have been sent out for clean and calibration, and we have test calibration sheets on those that stay with my rebuild folder. All of our systems, when we bring them in, we take them completely apart. We test, check all wiring, connections, air, lines, four lines, and we do replace all O-rings and gaskets and seals. We basically give it a annual PM plus. This is the ICP upper generator. It's an A&E generator, 3,000 watts. And towards the back of the system, we have the back Control MKS VAT controller, the pressure controller for your VAT valve. To the left of that is the Alcatel turbo controller. And all these run in remote mode. We have system EMO. We have system on and off switch. In the back, the knob there is to lock out the air to the VAT valve if you want to hold it in an open position. Now we're ready to run the system. We also have two different quartz inserts. This is for the 76 millimeter. And on the table here, we have one set up for four inch wafer, four inch cutter. Those two are going with this system. So now we can close the load lock. Tell them this is load lock control. This is chamber control for vacuum only. So I'll tell it evacuate. You will call the wafer. It says you want to name your wafer. You can put lot numbers, serial numbers, however you wish to track your wafers. And this gets data logged in the system so you can pull up the charts after the run and check all your parameters.
All right, so it's open the rough valve to the chamber. And this shows the wafer in chamber. It shows turbo running. This is your turbo. It's your APC control valve, pressure control. Turbo four line, chamber rough. Chamber purge, or I'm sorry, turbo purge. So the chamber is pumping down to base pressure. When it reaches base pressure, we'll get two little green identifiers here saying that it is at base. The ones here on the chamber show that the chamber is at base pressure and ready to run. This also shows my wafer clamp is down, my wafer lift is down. Arm is in the home position with the sen home sensor in the load lock. Now we'll select a process recipe. We've already selected video test. I'll tell it to run. That's loading wafer into the chamber. on the bottom of the screen here showing they're all green and, and met. The S-Pod interlock, your three water circuits, on the right is your voltage monitoring, minus 15, plus 15, plus 24. If they're out of spec, they will turn red and the system will alarm. Now we're running 200 watts on the platen. That's RF power, RF generator. ICP generator is the big one and we're running 800 watts on the upper we have a nice stable plasma in the chamber we're running 50 our set point is 50 sccms for o2 we're running 49.950 20 millitor is our set point for pressure we're running 20 millitor and we're running under pressure control. You can run under position control. And we're going to the next step. We're gonna run 1500 watts on the upper generator. That's a stabilization time of 15 seconds. bit of a brighter plasma because it's more energy. So the only parameter we have changed is the ICP power up to from 800 up to 1500 watts. going to ramp it up and do a 2500 watts on the ICP on the coil on the upper coil all the other parameters will be the same now we have a nice 
stable 2500 watt plasma. The stand does not come with the system. This is for my test purposes in my lab. But this is the new computer, monitor, keyboard, mouse. So that's the end of running my three different plasmas at three different powers. Now it's going to unload the wafer. circuits all go in here. Your CDA and your nitrogen also come in here. Your backside helium input port and your main gas box feeds into that section also. In the back are your three temperature controllers for your three different temperature regions. That's pretty much it for July 17, 2013 here at Class 1 Equipment.